Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War is dead. But that doesn't mean I won't ever talk about it again. And that is why I am making this random list video. These are five characters I definitely wanted as units within the game itself. This list was actually really, really hard to make due to the fact that most of the characters I wanted for Blaze will turn up Dark War, like Mei Fang, White Justice, Jusan, Tenjo Amano Hokusaka, and Homura Amano Hokusaka have already been added in the game in the course of its short lifetime. So I had to really look around to see what was left that I wanted in the game while it ran. So without further ado, let's get on with this video already about my top five characters that I wanted for Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War. And as with all of my top five videos, this list isn't in any particular order. These are just five characters I would have wanted in Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War while the game still ran. Kokonoe, as I like to call her, was a character that was meant to have her own side story manga of sorts. The manga would focus on this earlier version of Kokonoe who was journeying around to find Yuki Terumi, all while using dual swords like her father, though the story was ultimately scrapped. That's some old bullshit. Now I would have loved if Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War took a crack and added the ideas that Mori originally had for this character that he couldn't bring to life outside of this singular image. A more physical Kokonoe who fights like her dad and possibly throwing her crazy science cat bullshit there on top of it? Hell yeah, definitely throw her in the game. It would definitely be so sick to see that. Plus, the design looks so cool to just be scrapped like this and it kind of bums me out. And if Mori ever decided to bring back old sword Kokonoe back into the fold, I definitely wouldn't mind it in the least. Now, Amane Nishiki is one of my favorite characters, and I'm generally amazed that he never got in, especially considering that he only became even more important in Blaze Blue Central Fiction, and that smaller, even more minor characters got into Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War over him. I just enjoy Amane as a character, and I definitely would have loved to see what things post Blaze Blue Central Fiction would even do with him either revealing more on his backstory or actually just straight up telling us what he truly is. Now I know that Blaze Will Alternative Dark War probably wouldn't have went that far into exploring the character of Amane or anything like that, since mostly everyone that got in didn't get too much in the game itself while it ran, I wasn't expecting much on Amane in regards of lore. Now, I know he would have been playable in the future. Actually, almost every Blazewell character or X-Blaze character definitely would have gotten in Blazewell Turn of Dark War, in my opinion, though there is a bit of a snag in that statement I just made. There is the case of his Astral Heat, which in the actual playable games where you can play as Amane, it affects all the characters where he transforms them into either younger versions of themselves or different characters that have a resemblance to them. Now, considering the sheer amount of characters that will, would have been in Blaze Will Alternative Dark War, I could see that Amani would never get in just for the fact that his Astro would be too much of a hassle to work with. And to be honest, that's perfectly understandable. There's too many factors into going in Amani's Astro, considering they have to make unique sprites for everyone. Yes, they can reuse certain animations and sprites for other characters that they did in the mainline games, but for new characters like Syed, Taya Terami, uh, Raquel Alucard, Mei Feng Lapis Lassie, those characters will just have to suffer and they will have to make all new young sprites for them and I just don't see that much work being put into this one character for Amane. So I definitely see why Amane just definitely cannot get into place with Alternative Dark War or couldn't have in this case. Next up on the list is Nobody from X-Blaze. Now, I have recently been playing X-Blaze Lost Memories and actually been going through the other X-Blaze games to try, you know, get refresh my memories on what the events happened in those games. And I forgot how enjoyable Nobody was as a character. 
She does have very good dialogue and does a great job of blanketing how tiring it is with dealing with Kid 9 at times. And even though her personality is mostly a facade, she is still one of the more compelling x blaze characters that doesn't get enough love, in my opinion. Now, my main reasoning in wanting this character in Blazewell Turn of Dark War would have been for the character interaction she could have had, especially with characters like Nine, Selka, and even S herself, considering nobody is just S, who gave into despair and manifested through the embryo she had within herself. Along with casting aside her memories, please play x Blaze Lost Memories to know more because I am not going through all that in this particular video. But I will say that Nobody is just a fun but tragic character that I definitely would have loved to see more of outside of x Blaze and the like. Even if story reasons deem it impossible. But hey, so many characters can just quote unquote exist in Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War, so her inclusion isn't outside of the realm of possibility. Oh, get it? Because it's like the thing! Next up on the list is Karen Gina Parset. Now, for those not in the know, Karen Gina Parset is a character from the light novel called Blaze Blue Spiral Shift Hyojin no Au or Hero of the Frozen Blade that focuses on Jin Kisaragi and his squad during the events of the Ikarga Civil War. A member of this squad was Karen Gina herself, who didn't exactly like Jin all that much at first, though she did soften up a bit and was very loyal to the squad's captain known as Grimwood. Now, I would have personally loved to see more of Karen Gina outside the light novel, as after its end, she was tortured so badly that she lost the use of her in-universe drive known as Seagull. And combined with the death of Grimwood during the events of the light novel, it actually pushed Jin to get revenge for them in variable heart when he fought Mei Feng in a battle. With Blazewell Turn of Dark War pulling everyone from everywhere, it would technically be the first time we could see her in action, just like the other manga or other light novel exclusive characters before her. Plus, I would have loved to see the story mode where she would meet a current era Jin, or hell, even meet Bullet, as they do have a bit of a similar vibe to me. At least that's what I can read from Spiral Shifts of Scattered Translations, but still. I also look forward to how they would do her Astral Heat, because her drive, Se Seagull, is used to detect people by putting her hands on the ground. I don't know how they could work that as an insta-kill, or if they would choose something else for her, but hey, a man can only dream about Karen G and Parsec getting into a baseball game. I just, I just want this to happen, you know? <laughs> and the final character I would have wanted for Blazeblue Alternative Dark War would have been Ragna the Blood Edge. Now, Ragna was originally planned to be in Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War in the future, but wasn't able to due to the game sadly shutting down. I mean, hell, he was even in the opening as a silhouette, so he, we definitely know he was going to be important somehow. Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War is canon, which and it takes place after the events of Blaze Blue Central Fiction, and considering the characters from all over Blaze Blue's cans are dropping in, I can only imagine what role Ragna would have played if he popped up in this game but most likely a supporting role, seeing how his story was wrapped up in Blaze with Central Fiction. There is also the topic of if Ragnar should even come back, you know, like exist again or be in the story again, which I may make a video on someday since it's something I'm interested in talking about in the future. Ragnar isn't dead per se. He wiped himself from existence from the world and everyone's memories, though it's implied that he could maybe in the Master Unit along with the Origin. It could be implied that he's just straight up gone, but his situation is different from other characters, and I would have wanted to know if he was going to come back for Blazewell Turn of Dark War, how would it have been done and all that noise. But that's the past, and we gotta see what role lies for the guy and what lies ahead for the Blazewell series. Plus, hell, we would have gotten alternate costumes for him, and maybe even a new updated Astro Heat for the guy. I definitely wouldn't want to see what the hell Black's Onslaught would look like if it's been updated to match, you know, the last era of Ragna, you know? So, if it was all for him showing up in Blaze of Alternative Dark War, I was all up for it. Even though it didn't pan out this way, I really wanted to see what they were going to do with Ragna and what his story role was going to be in that game. 
alternative Dark War is more of a dead topic now, but I definitely want to talk about the game because I thoroughly did enjoy my time playing alternative Dark War, and I am very still sad to see it shut down. But I am also hopeful for the future of Blaze with what they're going to do with the characters introduced in alternative Dark War in a new game of sorts. So I definitely want to see what's going to happen next in the future. And alternative Dark War was just simply a bridge to that, even if it didn't last too long. So yeah, uh, that's all I really got to say. I will see you all next time. Peace out, everyone. And I hope all of you guys have a great day. Kaiser War, out.